Welcome to Ultimate Mar Bros. Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Mar Bros. I'm your host, Ultimate Mar. Now it's for me it's January 1st, 2021, but by the time this episode airs, it'll be probably late January or early February, which is around my dad's birthday, so happy birthday, Dad. You should be 57 now, I think. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't exactly remember what happened in the last video. I think we're trying to escape from the Shinra building. But before we really get into it, while I'm, I'm doing this video, I'm going to be airing some grievances I have with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And last night, I got towards the end of the game. I was 111 hours in and I couldn't take it anymore. I turned the game off, I deleted it from my PlayStation 4, I deleted all save files, because I just got so angry and so fed up with it. And I'll explain a little bit about that. Wow, this is loud. All right, never mind. It's the same le level volume it's supposed to be at, but, oh, is this where I need to go? I think there might be some treasure chests over here. But if you've read the title of this episode, I'm going to put it as Do Not Buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla. At the very least, on the PS4. Because it fails on every single conceivable level to be an Assassin's Creed game. It is without a doubt 100% a Viking game. And if they just called it a Viking game, I would have loved the game. It didn't need to be an Assassin's Creed game. Again, I got 111 hours in, and in every single Assassin's Creed game, one of my favorite things is hunting down the Templar Order. And whenever you hunt one of them down, and you kill them, you get to see a cutscene about the person, about the kind of their ideologies and what their goals are and that's one of my favorite parts about the Assassin's Creed games because you get to learn not just the Assassin's side test subjects don't receive treatment they're enhanced we're dissected this guy's a real piece of work but you also get to see the side of the Assassin of the Templar Order and what makes the Templar Order tick and all that and I found that to be one of my favorite aspects of the Assassin's Creed series. Hey, let us out. I remember you, and he remembers us. I think. the entire game of Assassin's Creed games anyways. Calling ice. There's always it. part of the main mission is hunting down the Templar Order. That's part of the fun, really. But as I've said, I got 40 111 hours in. Pretty much the last mission. And part of the fun of the game, in my opinion, is hunting down the tip of order and everything. But as I said, I got 111 hours in. I think I got to the last mission, if I'm being totally honest. And in the game, there's like 40 Templars that you have to kill. That's part of the main game. Crap. 
And so, after 111 hours at the final mission, I hadn't even killed. It, there was, it was like, let's say, let's say there's like 40 Templars in the game that you have to kill. You find the main bad guy, all that. I killed maybe 15 of them, and five of them were just random guys I just happened to find out in the world. It, it's that kind of stuff that fails as a assassin, in, in my opinion. And 111 hours in, last mission, I still had some 30 tip less that I had to find. And it just angered me so much. And then, here's a spoiler, the main character of the game gets killed off, and the bad guy of the game gets brought back to life and is in the mono world. I'm like, oh, that is such bullshit. And that's really what killed the, the entire game for me. It's just like, let's not even discuss the over 30 times the game crashed on me. Why am I going so slow? Fine. One step at a time it is. I don't see any elevators around here. I'll let Tifa and Aerith know. Because the game has... The game has some major bug issues, major crashes. Again, it's crashed at least 30 times on me while playing game. I go to turn in a mission, crash. I go through a cutscene, crash. I'm just walking, crash. I try to turn in something for a mission, crash. Oh my god, there's a secret monsters that you can hunt for special prizes I've killed a few of those and I tried to turn them in and every time hey, what do you know that's the door to the fourth wall if we want to get in we'll need to go all the way back to the central terminal but the door we used to get here is shut so what now the passages have to be connected somehow and every time I try to turn it in to get the rewards for those hunts crash let's not even include the buggy and unresponsive deaths you could please your character gets stuck in a gap somewhere and you're just stuck the PHS terminal call up deep see if they can get to the central terminal I hit every single damn button trying to get out of it. Hey! You okay down there? I tried jumping, I tried using abilities, I tried to climb the wall, I tried every little thing to escape and nothing. Damn it! Fred! He can't hold them all forever. Rescuing Red 13. Red 13 has fallen to a lower level. You can see Red 13's HP gauge on the screen. Defeat nearby enemies and save Red 13 before he, <laughs> he is overcome. Makes sense. Right. On it. Tifa, you there? Is something wrong? Red fell to your level. Can you try to get to him? Oh no! Come on! And it just <laughs> drove me crazy. I've 
totally lost my train Come of on, fucking really? thought. Oh, yes, I remember. Stop and see if I can grab onto anything to escape. Nothing. You just die. And I have had so many buggy deaths that it's not. You don't want to make me mad. Gotcha. Bring it. So it's my turn. It's not funny. It's not and fun. Yeah. One more shot. And, and as I've repeatedly said. Over 111 hours. Sorry, but I gotta. And I could say 60 to 70 hours. I wasn't even paying attention to the story. I just had my phone. playing videos and I'd only pause it just to watch the cutscenes. Everything else, I had the game pretty much on mute because it was boring. And the videos were boring. That's a win. The game just fails so spectacularly badly. For me, anyways, I cannot believe they called it an Assassin's Creed game. Now, I, I really can. One more shot. I feel like calling Valhalla an Assassin's Creed game is an insult to you lead the, way. the Assass Assassin's Creed franchise as a whole, in my opinion. And I feel... I feel like an apology needs to be made for the game by the creators. Look, don't get me wrong. I know this shit is not easy. Let's finish this. Nice. You okay? I am now. Nice one. Have Cloud and Barrett found anything? Actually, they just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. But I sincerely feel like... Look, don't get me wrong. I'm not a video game creator. I mean, I've done 3D animation for a few years in high school. Actually, all four years in high school. So I know this shit's not easy. Because you gotta get storytelling, storyboarding. You need to do a lot. I know it's not easy. 
but to call Assassin's Creed Valhalla an Assassin's Creed game is an insult, in my opinion. And it's just, it's not an Assassin's Creed game. It's not a fun game. If you go into it thinking it's an Assassin's Creed game, you are going to be severely disappointed. I mean, seriously. And it's not moving. The professor still has plans for us, I presume. For the record, I don't like this one bit. All that Maybe remains there. is the fourth ward. We must trust in Cloud and Barrett to see it through. And so, for any of you who are Assassin's Creed fans like myself, don't get it. It's just a. I really wish you wouldn't. It's just a horrible, buggy mess of a game that crashes unbelievably. I'll take care of it. And I just feel like it's an insult of a game. I would have One never been shot. someone who is would kill for a shower. harsh and critical of video games before. I've never... I'm a video gamer. I'm a gamer. I love video games. I love playing games. It's... it's just what I do. And I understand it's not easy to create this shit. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. And to all the creators who worked on this, this game, this was a good idea, right? Yep. You have my Let's undying respect, but this is not an Assassin's Creed game. And yeah, we found an elevator on our side. Good. Glad to hear it. But we can't use it for some reason. Hojo did something. I know it. There's only one thing we can do. We need to head to the fourth ward, just like he wants. We unlocked it on our side. You should be able to get in. Thanks. Wait for it there. And, you know... Right. Now we head back to that door. I've deleted the game from my PS4. I've deleted the entire save file. All of them. Turn up the pressure. For some reason, it has an ungodly... Come on. Amount of save files. I only had one manual save, but the game gave me like eight auto saves. And I just don't get why it needs that much. You know? I mean, I'm all for auto save. Whatever, man. Let's go. But. Just do one autosave. I mean, really, it's. There's no reason to have an autosave every five minutes. How far could I have possibly gone in five minutes with all those autosaves? It, it... Now, I want to talk about the main ca character, Eivor. I liked him as a character. You can play as either a female version of Eivor or a male version of Eivor. And the canon is female. So I originally started as the female character. But throughout the whole time I was playing as her, I, I didn't feel like this was right. And what I mean by that is, it feels like female version of Eivor didn't yeah. belong. Big Wedge wait a while to be rescued. Guess so. You know, he really liked you. Maybe. Friendly guy, but he has a hard time opening up to people. Well, that makes two of us. He's got your back, though. <laughs> makes two of us. And it just feels like we, Eivor was female in the game. I just couldn't get behind the voice. It felt like female version of Eivor, while good, 
felt like she was overcompensating trying to match her male virgin counterpart. And when I switched, when I finally figured out how to switch to male version Eivor, it, uh, and I heard his voice, I'm like, that's the main character. That's who I know is actually leading the charge. It felt like he was just more natural. It felt like he wasn't trying to compensate between him him and his female version like the female version was just trying to match up with the male version and I, I just didn't like how that felt while playing the game uh oh how about run go back to the door behind you run Seriously, what the hell is this thing? What in God's name is that thing? Oh, you know what? I'm going to stop this video here. Um, when we come back, we'll be right here, but... I want to apologize, I went off on a long tangent about Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but it just, it was such a huge disappointment to the Assassin's Creed franchise, and the main bad guy is brought back to life in modern time. I didn't like that. I didn't like how the main character of the present time dies, or sacrifices herself. I was like, really? Where are you going? I couldn't see where the future of this franchise is going to go from here. And I... I felt... Assassin's Creed Valhalla was just... A terrible... Entrance. Not entrance. A terrible... Sequel? To the games? And I felt like... It's just insults everything Assassin's Creed stands for. It throws away so much that's been built up with Desmond, Ezio, Altair, uh, Layla, Cassandra, Basayet, and now Eivor. It just felt like a slap in the face to fans of the franchise, in my opinion. Now, I'm, I know a lot of people are going to have their own opinions, it's just how I felt. I hear a lot of yelling. And I I had to get this out there and l let you guys know how I felt. Alright guys, that's enough for this video. When we come back, we're going to be doing whatever this boss fight is. <laughs> Alright, I hope you hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and crush the bell. See you tomorrow, guys.